What's up, everybody, man? We just got done ministering downtown at a homeless church service, and uh, man, God really moved and preached the word on being filled. Those that hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. And my brother right here, Joseph, literally came up to me afterwards in tears, and he was just broken, and, and God really ministered to him. Anyways, I got on here. I just wanted to share a quick testimony with you. And these brothers are still ministering to him. They're giving him a Bible right now. And he was just like, man, I'm ready. I'm ready to go home. And I'm like, where's home? He said, Albany, Georgia. And he's been out on the streets for a year. And to make a long story short, you know, I know when brothers are telling the truth, I was feeling him. And uh, we prayed together. And I just felt the Lord tell me to send him home. So we literally are right here at the Greyhound Station right now. We're going to walk in there and purchase him a ticket to go home. And uh, this is my brother right here, Joseph. God really ministered to him tonight, man. Tell him where you're from, bro. Albany, Albany, Georgia. And where you headed right now? Back to Albany. Back home, come on, man. You got family there, huh? Yeah. Kids? Yeah. The Lord's proud of you, man. So I'm gonna ask everybody, all of my followers, to pray for this brother right here. His name is Joseph. Hit me up if you wanna help him. I'm going to stay in touch with him, and uh, we're going to see you through this thing, all right? Thanks. You want to thank the Lord today? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, man. We love you, bro. Thank and God, you. And God, you know, God didn't forget about you, man. You hear me? Thank you. We didn't forget about you. We didn't forget about you. So let's go, let's go get you home, man. We got Nate. We got Thomas over here. What's going on, everybody? say what's up, bro. These are soldiers right here. Soldiers. Always faithful. Come on, man. God. Tell God what happened tonight, real quick. Yeah, I tell, you. I tell, tell everybody, not God. Tell, I tell, tell you. everybody what happened. This was actually my first time coming out to a uh, safe house with City Takers here. I was actually told by a friend of mine, Terrell Olavigi, appreciate you, brother, for letting me know about this. Honestly, it was better than I expected. I more was done, more good was done than I expected, which I guess was a fault, a short sight on my part, because God always exceeds our expectations. Come on. And it was no different than me with what happened tonight. Come on. They were not just, it, was, it wasn't just that they were blessed, but I too was blessed. Come on, bro. In fact, I'm wondering if I got more out of the message than they did, if I got more out of the service than they did. Yeah. So I would like to encourage everybody just to take a lesson that I learned from here this evening. When it comes to service, especially to those that are underprivileged, there's no such thing as too small. Mm. There's no such thing as insignificant. Come on. I want, I want to recall to your mind the widow's might here. Those, the, the, that widow that put her last two cents in here, the, the, that put her last two cents in the, um, in the offering. Forgive me for butchering the story. But Jesus himself said that she is given out of her lack, as she is given more in her lack, more than the others gave in their abundance. Mm, the on, lesson brother. is, such as I have, I give. And that's what happened tonight. I thank Amen, God. Amen, brother. Amen, brother. <laughs> All right, you make? Man, God is good. And, um, you know, just to be able to, uh, to serve alongside with uh, City Takers at Safe House to be able to meet my man here, you know, and um, it, it just it just goes to show, man, God God will, God has not forgotten us, God loves us, right. and God uses all kind of circumstances, you know, whether we feel like we are doing well or we feel like we're down and out, Come on. You know, God continues to bless us, so we're blessed to be a blessing to others, yes. so come I just on, encourage bro. people to come out every fourth Monday yeah. at okay. City, uh, 630 at Safe House, 89 Ellis Street yes, sir. Uh, in downtown Atlanta. Yep. Uh, working with uh, with Safe House uh, and City Takers, man, and just uh, just just serve. Come on, bro. Appreciate it. It's yes, not sir. an accident you're here today, man. Yeah. So yeah. let's pray. Let Facebook. Let's pray for him. Lay hands on him. We're gonna pray. Yeah. Father God, I pray as we send Joseph home. God, I pray that your Spirit guides him and leads him, Lord. We thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy upon his life. And I pray that you supernaturally provide for this man. We thank you, God, for this bus ticket that you provided. We thank you, God, that things are gonna be different from this day forward. By the power of your spirit, Lord. Thank you for your blood that was shed on Calvary. Thank you. God. For the forgiveness of his sins. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray you restore his family, Lord. Yes, Lord. Restore the broken things that yes. the enemy has taken away. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hey, Amen. hey, and, uh, Amen. And, uh, and, and everybody, hey, uh, what the devil meant for bad. Come on. God turned it around. Come on. And use it for the good. Come yes. on, bro. Back. <laughs> Come on. That's a victory right there. All right, y'all, we headed into the bus station. Y'all pray for him, all right? Peace.